All right, so in this video, I shall attempt to replace the filter on the 7 Hertz Dioko live on stream here. I actually already did it for this, um, the right side, so I know it works. And this right here is the filter that was uh, replaced. If I can zoom in a bit here. Yep, so this is it. Um, this filter here is what uh, they sent me. You can see that it's, they look very similar. Um, so at first when I actually removed it, I wasn't even sure if it did anything, but uh, it did and I'll show you the measurements. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this here and see if I can uh, get it done in one shot here. So okay, here we go. So obviously I removed uh, the elastic like tip here. Here is the filter. I'm just gonna go in very carefully. This is the pair of tweezers they actually sent me. And this is the and the kit over here, I zoom out here, uh, they sent a bunch of extra um, filters here and they sent us four, four of these black foamy things, which means that you essentially have uh, two attempts, two on each side. Um, okay, so let's get started. So zoom in once again, or focus once again here. Apologies, my camera sucks, but uh, so I'm gonna go in very carefully, just try to remove this piece here. Um, try not to pierce through anything there we go so you can see there's a bit of a glue um, that's holding it tight so as I pull it out you can see everything comes out sort of at once um, if it doesn't come out all together that's okay um, it might come out with the silver piece first and then you sort of have to very carefully peel off the the, the white uh, the white piece before finally removing the foam. Um, just be a bit careful, I guess, not to push anything too far in, but yeah, it, it kind of sticks together as one piece, so it should be okay. Put that to the side. All right, so here's my foamy piece, and here is the hard part. I need to zoom in again. Um, all right, so here is a bit of the harder part because now I have to try and squeeze this foamy piece into here um, without messing things too much and you can see it kind of gets stuck on my tweezers here actually what I will do is I will stick it to the white piece first I think zoom out over there And you want to be careful not to accidentally pierce the filters on your own. There we go. Grab the little corner. Alright, so there's a bit of a stickiness to it. So I got that on. So the white piece is on uh, to the foam. So you can sort of see I have it. All together. Um, oh no, shoot. Okay, there we go. Apologies for the zooming issues, but uh, here is the, the piece and here it is. I'm going to try and maneuver it so it fits this way. There we go. Okay. So then kind of squeeze the foamy piece in first and try to make it, it so it's even. Alright, and then what I did was I kind of pushed around the corners, try and make it flat, to flatten it out. And then around the rim, uh, where the, the glue essentially sits around the rim here, so it, it kind of glues in in place and I'm just sort of tapping it down, 
tapping down the center as well so the foam goes in properly so just some rubbing around the rim here making sure the glue is set this is a bit of a tricky procedure I will say um, not super comfortable with it but I'm not exactly a DIY master um, all right so in here I'm gonna take out the silver piece and this is another one with a sticky layer on top and it essentially protects the, the white lining and hopefully this will look good when I go and measure it all right there we go so you can see it it looks almost perfect and I'm just gonna give it another run around the edge here to really lock it in place excellent okay so that looks good to me just pushing it down feels feels good all right I'm gonna do a cut here and I shall do some measurements and you will see okay so I just uh, measured it with my coupler here um, I'll throw on the measurements on the screen here in a second and we can discuss it uh, but essentially it seemed to work out perfectly um, these were in fact the wrong filters uh, because there was quite a bit more upper mids and treble in comparisons to the ones that I just put in as you can see on the uh, graph at the moment it looks like you know there's a there's a three three ish uh, decibel cut in the upper mid range there um, and I'm gonna take a listen to to this now um, and see how it changes based on what I heard uh, previously and I will you know obviously include that as part of my full review so do check that out when it comes out on headphones.com um, the one thing I will say now, however, before having heard the new uh, filters in place was that the previous one that I heard, I thought it was actually pretty good. I thought the mid-range was, was quite well done. I didn't think it was excessive in the, the upper mids or the treble personally. In the upper treble, there is a bit of a like a hump or a spike there, um, which I would touch on in my review, but nothing really egregious. Um, however, so I'm going to be very curious as to see what the effect is of this uh, reduction in the upper mids uh, will do to this to this IEM here the Dioko. All right, thanks for watching, and hopefully that was helpful for you. If you did in fact get a set that wasn't a, uh, you know, um, didn't have the correct filters. Bye bye.